the area that we in traditionally lost at its worst two to three rhinos a day. Um, there was a lot of reaction. There was a lot of focus on the area. There were various teams deployed and multiple reports of, of poaching incidents. And we've brought that down now to less than one rhino in the period of 12 months. So in our, our high peak periods or in times when we know that there is going to be a lot of poaching or incursions, usually before or after the onset of full moon, we have teams that are prepared and that are waiting um, in order to react to that. Previously, you know, you'd have to have people out there 24 hours a day, which just isn't possible. Um, it's also enabled us to carry out our work a lot safer. So before you even go out into the bush, you have an idea with a system like the Meerkat of who you're following, how many people you're following, um, often what are they carrying. You get an idea of the terrain that they are. Um, over time, looking at the records and the data um, and collecting all that evidence, you start to pick up trends. So you can start to anticipate, so they've come in here, they're moving here, they're possibly going to go out there, let's go and intercept them. Through rigorous trial and error and an iterative approach, um, many solutions were tested in areas that uh, Peace Parks supports to an end where we come up with solutions that work best in different environments. Among those solutions was the wide area surveillance system. It combines the persistent all weather day and night capabilities of a ground surveillance system as a primary sensor with the capabilities of an optronic sensor to classify these threats and also to enrich the information that the radar gave us. In the area where the postcode Merkot was deployed, an incredible 95% of the incursions from poachers were detected. And of those, 65% uh, were arrested. And if they weren't arrested, an incredible 80% of them were disrupted. I think the impact that it had, not only on the poaching, but on the morale of the rangers, mustn't be underestimated. So previously you would walk a detection zone in the morning, the rangers would pick up a track, they'd put the dog on the track, and then they'd follow that track. And you don't know for how long you're going to follow. Often the incursions were 30 kilometers into the park. So you track until you either caught the poachers, had a contact, you hopefully successfully caught all of them, or you caught one, or they got away. Um, or you tracked until it was too dark and you simply just couldn't carry on. Um, with systems like the Meerkat, where you effectively know where your target is beforehand, so instead of picking up the spoor on the field and going 30 kilometers in, you now have an actual starting point. Speaking to rangers and often we sit and get around and sort of do our needs analysis and try and figure out how we're going to make things work. Um, I think what always comes out really strongly is that we're always really encouraged and touched by people that sometimes don't have any connection to Kruger and certainly don't know us, but put their faith and their funding in us and our projects um, through organisations like Peace Park. So we certainly wouldn't be able to do what we are doing if it weren't for the various donors and funders out there. In 2014, 2015, the real dark days where we lost up to 1,200 rhino in South Africa uh, is the time when the postcode lottery stepped up with significant support and helped finance a multi-pronged approach where one could see a dramatic response in reaction to that financial support. Uh, today, we have a 300% reduction in the number of rhino poached in South Africa. And most of the result of this uh, is because of the, the postcode lotteries and the incredible support of the players of the postcode lottery. At the postcode lottery, we believe that a society is better off with really strong non-profit organizations. And that creates a really good society. And this particular project is, is, we think it's beautiful because it's, it shows the power of the collaboration between new technology and human heart and dedication. And for us, it's really special because 
we want our our money to contribute to a better world for for humans for animals and for environment and this project checks all the boxes Nature is under immense pressure due to extreme human impact, climate change and degradation of ecosystems. We are proud to be able to support organizations such as Peace Parks Foundation that are committed to protecting our animals and nature. Thanks to the loyal support of our players, the Dutch Postcode Lottery is able and very proud to support the Dream Fund project, the Rhino Protection Programme. We are especially impressed by the innovative solutions developed by Peace Park Foundation to protect the remaining rhinos, such as the Meerkat White Area Surveillance System. Protecting the rhino and other keystone species is important to Peace Parks because the protection of those species ensures that the ecosystems that are under threat and also livelihoods and of course national security is also protected.